synagogue. Is your dad going to dress up like Santa again? Unfortunately. But I laid down the law. I told him this year I'm getting too big for that elf costume. What'd he say? <sighs> Nothing. He had it taken out for me. Hey, what's the deal, yo? Okay, everybody. Come on down and get in line. Ow! If I call your name, you will step up to my assistant, who will tell you which gift you'll each be surprising me with this year. Wow. She sure is organized. I can't believe she's telling people what to get her. Name? Brenda Blitz. Social clinic? A crowd. Next generation. Mm, financial status? Weekly allowance, two figures. You will be getting Ms. Stone a pair of Captain Pete's platform pirate sneakers, high top, teal cloth with emerald piping, blue or gold wrapping paper, matching ribbon, one bow. Merry Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Stone. Well, at least Brenda gets to choose the wrapping paper. Come on, people! Keep this line moving! Tend the season to worship me! Here you go, Santa. Much obliged. You fine ladies are fantastic. So what should we get first? Shoelace Arama or All About Underpants? I think we should... Look out! A gem, darling. Make sure you donate this to the less fortunates who can't afford a full-time help staff. <laughs> Care to make a contribution to the homeless? As if. Jem, I heard what your mom said. You're really not going to make a donation? I'm making a donation to my face. I cannot believe this. That money was for charity. And I said, if you think I'm coming to a party with a $10 limit for gifts, you're so wrong. Your name should be Wrongy Wrongstein of the Wrongville Wrongsteins. I mean, I don't even touch tinsel for less than 25. Do not explode. Do not explode. Do not explode. Okay, class. Before we get started, I'm heading up a project that distributes toys to underprivileged kids. I need some volunteers to help wrap the gifts. What do we get out of it? Well, the joy of spreading joy. <laughs> no, really. What do we get out of it? That is it. And everybody looked at me like I was an alien. I was totally humiliated. So what now? Jem is not going to get away with making me look dumb because I have Christmas spirit and she has a heart of stone. I'm going to teach her a Yuletide lesson she'll never forget. Suggestions? Well, we could send her to the North Pole in a bikini. A fish skin bikini. Then the polar bears would chase her. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, not Christmassy enough. Uh, Mr. Scrooge, uh, I was wondering if I might have Christmas Day uh, off. Mm, a day off? Well, uh, it is Christmas. Yeah, a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But, Mr. Scrooge, think of my poor son, Tiny Tim, who suffers from a chronic case of Victorian tininess. 
We'll return to Saki Sackerman's Puppet Pals to a really lame version of A Christmas Carol right after we sell you some stuff. That's it. We can use A Christmas Carol to scare Jem into being nice. I can't wait. Now, wait a minute. Scaring Jem into being nice? Who's this plan for? You are Jem. Jem, of course. She needs to learn how to treat people at Christmas. I just happen to be one of the people she treated badly in front of a classroom of my friends. Well, I think positive reinforcement might be a better tactic. You know what they say. Toss a good deed into the world, and it comes back to you a thousandfold. Yeah, I read that fortune cookie. I also read the one that says spit into the wind. That comes right back at you, too. Jem is above mere mortal persuasion, Uncle Quigley. Let the witches handle this one. I get to be the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Is that the one with the hood and the bony finger? I want to be that one. No way, I called it. Does it count, guys? I want to be the ghost with the fruit hat. Oh, I want to be that one, too. You're already the bony finger ghost. She is not. Don't be a pig. It's Christmas. <sighs> Are you purposely trying to ruin my Christmas? Ah. <gasps> Hello. I mean, boo. What is going on here? Did someone forget to dust my door again? No, I'm a ghost, you dimwit. And I have something muy importante to tell you. On this night, you will be visited by a host of ghosts three. The ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You will be shown... Which one are you? Well, none. You said three ghosts. I'm supposed to be the ghost of Marley, who you really don't know, but... So it's four ghosts. Huh? Ghost of Christmas past, present, yet to come, and you. Four ghosts. Wait, no, no there's three. Oh... Haunt me when you got your story straight. I gotta go to bed. I gotta get a new gig. Hilda, this is a haunting, not the prom. You're supposed to be scary. Well, I would be scary if I got to be the ghost of Christmas yet to come with that awesome black cowl. But my own niece hugged the cool ghost for herself. Christmas pass is cool, too. She's waking up. Turn on your ghost stuff. You and what are you doing in my room? Security! See? Fruit! I can do fruit! I'm the ghost of Christmas past. The doorknob should have mentioned I was coming. <laughs> oh, right. I'm here to try and save the Christmas spirit inside you, Jem. It's being smothered, and you'll never know the true joy of Christmas until you let it out. I got the joy of Christmas piled up under my tree downstairs. No, the true joy of Christmas. You knew it once, but somewhere along the line you got off track. Let me guess. The past, right? Correct. Recognize that little girl in line for Santa? She's about to learn a life-altering lesson. And, and, a Billy Go Boom Boom doll, and, and then my first waffle iron, and a Randy Rattlesnake action kit, complete with Shadowmatic action skin. Uh, hey, Tyler, maybe you should get down now and let the other children have a turn. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, Tinsel, uh, give Tyler a lollipop. <laughs> More! Oh, stop it, stop it. My therapist said I should avoid stress at all costs. <laughs> you can just take a all. Lollipop. What a haul! More! Ah! More! See how everyone around you is miserable on what should be the happiest day of the year? See how you ruined Christmas with your greed? <laughs> oh, you stupid, stupid child! How could you have been so blind? No way! Breakthrough already? So, looks like you learned a valuable lesson, huh? Oh, yes! Look at me! Taking that vintage Billy Go Boom Boom doll out of its original box! Do you know how much my toys would be worth if I haven't ruined them by playing with them? I can't believe it. That girl has the feelings of a robot. Time to tag out, Slugger. Maybe Zelda will have a little more luck. Hey! Somebody left the lid off a of gem's garbage can! Woohoo! Let's go! Right after lunch. <laughs> Zelda. I don't want to hear it. You want a ghost? You got a ghost. But that sheet isn't even white. And where's the hat? You can't have a ghost of Christmas present without the fruit hat. 
Somebody ate the fruit hatch? <clears throat> Sorry. Never mind. Bottom line is the sheet's not going to cut it. Okay, let me zap up another one. Now, how did that spell go? No time. She's waking up. <sighs> oh, please. Don't even. I am the very scary ghost of Christmas present. Are those my mother's good sheets? Not necessarily. So anyway, I'm here to show you what unspeakable horrors your evil deeds have brought upon you. Doesn't that sound like fun? First, a tour of your own mansion. So, nobody's here. Kind of sad, isn't it? No one around to spend Christmas with except... Your nanny and the television. And now, back to the completely inoffensive, non-denominational television special that just happens to air at the end of December, starring Hap Morgenstern and his completely inoffensive, non-denominational dancers. So, I love this show. And didn't you see all those presents down there? But what about your parents? They always go to Guam for the holidays. No biggie. Not so loud. Jen will hear you. We're home free. <laughs> it's going to be a good Christmas after all. <laughs> Come on, ghost. Bring it home. Show her the party. Okay, well, how about this? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Who's ready for gifts? Chloe? I hate this elf suit. invited to this? Look at those cheap decorations. And no food. And I happen to know those onion mugs retail for under five dollars. My daddy owns the company. The party isn't over yet. And what's Chloe's dad doing in a Santa suit? Her family celebrates Kwanzaa. Santa is about giving. He's universal. Giving? <laughs> Keep watching, Grinchelina. It's about to get interesting. I can't believe Jem actually assigned people what to get her for Christmas. That's because nobody wants to buy her anything. I just pretend to be friends with her so I can borrow her clothes. Hey, hey, listen to this. On the first day of Christmas, Gemstone got from me a brand new personality. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. On the second day of Christmas, Gemstone got from me two barf bags and, and a, a brand, brand new personality. personality. Excellent. Excellent. And what bizarre universe is this girl living in? They're so jealous of me. They have to make up little songs. It just shows how fantastic I actually am. They aren't hurting your feelings? <laughs> Not even. Look, I'm tired. If we're done here, I'd like to get back to bed. <sighs> okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, does everyone understand how serious this is? We've got to change Jen before the night is over. <laughs> All right, clear the deck. I'm going to handle this one personally. As the ghost of witch miss yet to come. <laughs> it can't be! What are you? I am the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I am here to... <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> Whoops. Spellman? No, no, not Spellman! A... Ghost who looks like Spellman to make the lesson. It's going to teach you even more relevant. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. Could Sabrina do this? I'm gonna say no to that one. Exactly. So buckle up, cause we're taking a ride to the future. Do I work in this building? Well, no. Stone Enterprises? Wait, I own this building. Yes, but are you happy? Christmas. We have an order for one space shuttle and six dozen donuts that needs to be filled by New Year's. This better be good. Sabrina Spellman to see you, ma'am. Spellman? Send her up. Wait! No! Don't! Oh, Sabrina Spellman. To what do I owe this invasion of privacy? Hello, Jim. I was hoping we could talk about Harvey. Harvey Kinkle? Yes. See, Harvey lost quite a bit of money on his last photography exhibit, Dessert Spoons in Motion. So? So I was hoping you could maybe give him a job somewhere in your company. You know, in time for Christmas. 
frying donuts or assembling space shuttles or something. Yeah, right. Nanny, get up here. Nanny, get this woman out of here. Hey. Jim, it's Christmas. Cool. I'm totally successful. This wasn't supposed to reform me, was it? No, but this will. Anybody want Chinese? Mmm, I could go for some mushu. I know this great little Szechuan Swiss place. Hoo-wee, scary. I know what you're doing. This is the part where you show me my gravestone, right? Sorta. Down, please. But look at this. A blank guest register? No one came to say goodbye. Isn't that sad? Nanny! with you. Guess I turned out to be one smart adult, huh? Yeah, Jim. I guess so. And so I sent her back to her bed. I can't believe Jim still made me look like a doofus again. Well, kid, we tried. Some people just can't be reformed. But I wanted this so bad. Well, maybe that's why you failed. What? It sounds to me like you didn't want to change Jim's heart for Jim. You wanted to change it for you. I don't get it. Sabrina, the spirit of Christmas is giving. But you weren't giving Jim the gift of a new outlook. You were doing it to save face. Well, yeah. I think deep down, Sabrina Spellman really does want Jem to change. So why not try something with the true spirit of Christmas in mind? Like what? You really think this will do it? I guess we'll see. Oh, look! Sabrina Spellman and an old fat guy. My holiday joy is now complete. I had the weirdest dream last night. You were in it. No kidding. Look, Jim, I just wanted to drop off this gift and invite you over to our place for Christmas morning. I mean, if you want. Gift? But I didn't assign you a gift, and I sure didn't get you anything. I know. I just got you one because I wanted to. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sucker! Well, that sure didn't work. Didn't it? <laughs> Can you believe that? Spellman got me a gift just because... Spellman, what a loser. A locket? No way! Oh. Oh, 12 speed juicer! Now you can make those banana cheese smoothies you like so much. I'll get it. Ah. Look, I had all this stuff laying around and decided I might as well donate it to charity. And you took the time to wrap everything. Look, I'm a busy woman. Do you want this stuff or not? Jem, uh, hi. Jem brought over some gifts. It's nothing. Seriously. Well, Hardy and Chloe are on their way over to have some cider and sing Christmas carols. Do you want to come in? Well, it is kind of cold out. Just warmed up a little, I think. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.